<laughs> Another of these emails that's making its rounds, a picture similar to this stating that marijuana deposits four times more tar in the lungs than tobacco. So, what do you all think? You know, with marijuana, there's no filter on that, right, compared to a cigarette, so a lot more of those that smoke, it's in and your... And it's inhaled, yeah, yeah. too. I mean, we know right. that people, when they're smoking because, marijuana... Because yeah, it's, it's, it's not just that. Actually, the studies are showing the same, whether it's vaporized, right. you know, or however you're smoking it, whether it's got a filter on it or not, they're still having <laughs> We've this, this so same... We've been so hung up on talking about tar. medicinal uses yes. of marijuana, sure. we're forgetting that, hey, right. this is smoking, just like a cigarette. In fact, data shows that it's worse in terms right. of... So you're talking medicinal marijuana. When you're inhaling it, it's now much more concentrated. People inhale it more deeply. And if you even just look at this animation, when you inhale that smoke, it gets deep into the lungs, into those little alveoli, where that's, of course, where the, the THC gets into the bloodstream. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mention the fact that it can be an irritant. Yeah. People with asthma, it can lead to <clears throat> asthma attacks. It could potentially lead to infection. Uh, the biggest thing here is there are over 33 chemicals in marijuana that can lead to cancer, so it's not something to be put around. Dr. Travis, with. I never inhaled. <laughs> <laughs> Hats given medical marijuana? There is a huge push right now, huge push towards medicinal marijuana use in pets. And so what we're seeing is we're actually seeing a two-prong approach. We're seeing the legalization in a lot of states which leads to a lot more visits to us for toxicity, right? Mm. So you leave your brownies on the table, yeah. and it's usually mixed oh. with chocolate. That yeah. becomes a problem. Oh, yeah. And then the other prong approach is people are saying, well, if it's medicinal for me, can I use it for my pets? So and are they not... blowing, are they too, a lot of it just blowing the smoke into their, their pet's face? Trying, it is. Trying to get it is all of that. Mm -hmm. we, it's not first-hand yeah. smoke, because there's no pet smoking you know, we, in the joint, we, right? It's a different kind of smoke. It's a different kind of smoke. You think about that. Right. Give your pets medicinal marijuana. Yeah. You do not want to give your pets marijuana, no, period. Dude. Hey, I'm Dr. Travis Stork. Press here to subscribe to the doctor's YouTube channel and press here to help reduce tension.